Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to Clash of Wills, the hair boss. Um, I know for the past weekend I haven't really done much Clash of Wills. I was kind of busy on the JP server with like five different um, trial fights that they released. Um, that's all finished, back to Clash of Wills. Um, so the other day I got myself a Cleome from EX Tickets. You can see the video for that on my channel. But um, we're going to use her for a fire team. So this is going to be quite a bit different than my ice clear because the ice clear um, used the eject to our advantage to like give more time for setup. This clear because Cleome is so heavy with auto casting um, we can't really allow ourselves to be ejected because it'll really just ruin Cleome's rotation. So we're going for a more consistent DPS phase with this. Here's the party. I'll show you the team's gear and all at the end. As usual, turn, ch turn chart will be in the comments. Let's get a rank one clear in. Okay, so first of all, we are going to, as the first action, we're going to use Tsukiko to imbue the party with fire. Blessed Omamori for the morale stuff, fire imbue and um, Fire Field. Now we're gonna use Cleome. We're gonna use a lot of her Magnuses in phase one. Um, phase one, we, like I said, we're not really doing a lot of stalling. So we're gonna be bursting through phase one and not really worried about the damage cap in phase one. So we're gonna go ahead and do Slayer's Symphony, Blood Red, and Prodigious Protection. Um, that is going to use all of her Magnus Killers in Phase 1. So we're actually not going to have her Magnus Killers for the second phase and our True Burst. If you're short on damage in Phase 2, you can instead delay her Killers until turn 6 instead, which is going to be the second phase for us. But, um, you know, we're going to be using them in Phase 1. Uh, Sylvie can go ahead and do the usual. Uh, all three mitigations, general, physical, and magical. Olive is just going to, on this turn, do uh, breaks, killers, and giant melon, because all of those fill the morale gauge. We're going to have Cecil start in the base form for the Red Wings field. Then we're going to go to the shift form. Now, we're going to cover for the stat buff. Then we're going to selflessness on Sylvie. That's a single target omni cover that we can use on demand. And that's going to cover the... Uh, Sylvie's Provoking. That is going to cover the powerful fixed attack. I'm sorry, the powerful single target physical attack. That way Sylvie doesn't waste her guts on phase one. And Cecil can provoke it no, or, or tank it, no problem. Don't provoke it. You can Omni cover it just fine. And we'll use Paladin Sword for a break. Now we're going to use 2B to just do her LB, shifted LB for the mod boost as the last action because we had to wait for the fire in view and hitting the boss with fire sealed him. So here's the turn one stuff. Now the AOE physical ignores cover. We're not worried about it. Then here's the two uh, the two single target stuffs. Cecil covers both of them no problem with Omni cover and no one lost any guts. So there we go. Okay, so turn two, Cecil will go ahead and put up Shelga. This is a magic turn, so just magic, we're, wear we're wearing immunity. So Shelga, we're gonna resist buff again. And the reason we're doing resist buff, it applies fire and dark resist. And both of those, casting them every turn will give you morale. So we're always gonna use resist buff on Cecil to get full credit for the uh, resistance bonus for the morale gain. And then we'll just Curega to top himself back up. We're gonna reload Olive and again, just refill, uh, just do all her stuff and get herself some morale gain, the last cast as focus. Sylvie on this turn will do Compassionate for the Break Immunity, and then Vines and Petals for more morale game. Now the rest of the party is going to start dealing some damage. You got to push the boss to a threshold, either 75, 50, or 25, before the fourth turn of not pushing a threshold, or the, otherwise he'll eject. So we're going to go ahead and just triple Firestorm with you. We're going to go to the base form with 2B and just triple R40. That'll also refill her LB gauge. And Cleome is going to triple Gallant because um, we're not ready to do any kind of real bursting yet. We'll go and chain this up a little bit. Now, you don't want to go below 75. So if you're somehow bursting all the way to 75, 
Uh, don't do that on that turn. Here's the fire and dark magic. Anyway, we're not fully immune with Cecil, it's totally fine. Um, he takes, like, basically no damage. Okay, so this turn, we're gonna shift Sylvie, and we're gonna do her shifted LB for the mod buff, stat buff, LB buff, all that good stuff. And now we're gonna push that first threshold to 75%. So we wanna push under 75, but not all the way to 50. If you're pushing too hard, then have someone just not jump in this chain for this turn. If you're not pushing hard enough, then eh, this might not be the clear for you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, um, well actually Sukiko is not gonna burst this turn. She's gonna go to the base form and just use a focus. 2B, base form LB, Cleome, shifted LB, Olive, SLB, and we'll go ahead and chain all these up. And this should push the 75 threshold without pushing the 50. Okay, we almost pushed too hard, but uh, we're fine. As long, as long as you don't go to 50, you're totally fine. Um, and again, if you are going to 50, just have one person just not chain there. Wait, do chain two of them, and then have the third person just like hit the boss without chaining. Um, anyway, we did push the 75 threshold. That is going to reset the boss's rotation to the first turn, which is those powerful single target attacks. One magical, one physical. And again, there's no reason to waste guts charges on this turn. So we'll just single target cover it again. So we'll single target cover Sylvie, which is an on-demand Omni cover. Um, we'll go ahead and do the resistance buff for the morale. And we'll just like use Kyrega, I guess, to heal himself back up or anyone back up that took damage, whatever. Doesn't really matter. And there we go. Okay, so um, this is the, uh, what's it called? The threshold. I'm sorry, the 75 threshold, but not the 50. And uh, you, the attacks do hit Cecil kind of hard, but you know, not, not hard enough to kill him. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and use Cecil's LB. That's going to put up mitigation and all that goodness. We're going to use Sukiko to go to the shift form. We're going to Blazing Karmic. We're going to have 2B, triple R40. And now we're going to push that 50% threshold. Cleome will triple Gallant. And Olive will do um, Flaming Gunner for the cooldowns. We'll refresh the Mammal for the killer, Giant, and Dual Summer Shot. And Sylvie can do, let's see, we will Giant Demon, or Poach Demon, on Cleome, and we'll do uh, just a double Cheerful to fill the morale gauge. Okay, so we're going to start Cleome, or Olive. After a few casts, we'll send the Chainer so she can cap it. I mean, we were really close to 50 anyway, but just in case you weren't, there we go. So now we're at 50, here's the next threshold. So this time we're not Omni covering. So there's gonna be a powerful attack on Sylvie, and she did guts that one, and then the magic attack, Cecil covered, you know, just fine. And then some, some AOE physical, we're not miraging it, we're just bulking up, but we had Cecil's LB, so it's fine. Um, so this turn, Cecil will go ahead and reapply cover. We're going to resist buff, and now we're going to re-raise himself because uh, on the 25% threshold, which we're gonna push soon, uh, it's gonna deal a ton of damage and Cecil's probably gonna die. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, re-raise himself. Uh, the rest of the party, Sylvie will go back to the base form where we're going to Vines, um, Petals, and Compassionate. Olive will do, uh, now, okay, so this one, um, we're currently on the, well, we just had the first turn of the next rotation. Uh, we're on turn two of the four turn clock. Remember, every threshold gives you four turns to push the next one or you get ejected. So this this current turn, turn five, is the second turn of that threshold. There's gonna be just a double magic. We're not gonna be ready to burst before the boss's buffs are gone because we're not using Kaito because Kaito just doesn't deal any damage, unfortunately. But So, so we need to push the 25% threshold by turn seven. Turn seven would be the eject if we didn't push the threshold. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use uh, Sukiko to Firestorm here. Now we're not gonna push the threshold yet. We're just gonna push some damage. We're gonna base, I'm sorry, we're gonna shift the LB. Our, no, we're not, we're gonna base form LB. I got my little turn chart wrong. We're gonna base form LB to B. We're gonna shift the LB 
Cleom, and we're going to do double break. Um, double. Really? I hate, I hate Olive. Double break, giant melon, then we're going to cap, and as the last action, we're going to Magnus, because our SLB will be ready next turn. Um, we use Sylvie's LB on turn three, so her buffs are still active, so we don't got to use the morale buffs. Um, you can if you want to, uh, but whatever. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just chain these up all together because um, Olive's uh, only doing a triple here. And we don't want to push, be we do not want to push below 25 just yet. So that's fine. And the boss heals. So, you know, a lot, a lot of this is going to be like negated by the healing, but that's fine. There's the magic damage. Okay, this turn is going to be the AoE uh, physical attack that bypasses all covers, even Omni cover. So we're going to go ahead and use defense on Sylvie for the Mirage. We're going to do I've Got Your Back on Cleome, because this turn we can't fill her LB gauge. That's going to just fill her LB gauge to the maximum. It'll also give her a big LB buff for next turn. And then we're going to do Poach Demon on 2B, because 2B is going to be doing more bursting for the next two turns. Okay, uh, we're going to use Suhiko to go to the base form now. We're going to reapply Omomori, reapply the fire imbue, and we're going to just cast protection for something to do. Uh, Cleome is going to do in Ferega, bar Ferega. Um, that's for a slightly bigger amp for this next turn. Fire resist with bar Ferega. And then we're going to do um, blood red performance to get that slightly bigger AOE amplifier ready. Uh, let's see, and the rest of the party will SLB Olive. We're going to use Cecil to just extreme Nova from a Materia. And 2B is going to triple R40 Blade. Now, the Sylvie LB has worn off at this point, so we'll go ahead and do the attack and magic buff. We'll send 2B, wait for the chain to build slightly, and then send Olive with Cecil. And again, we want to push close to 25 without going over. That's fine. 35 is not a problem. The real burst is coming next turn to push the threshold. So here's some AoE stuff in Perils. We mirage the physical. We cover the magic. No problem. Now, if we don't push 25 on this turn, we're getting ejected, and that'll really ruin uh, Cleom's setup. So what we're going to do, we're going to shift Sylvie. She's already shifted. And use her shifted LB. We're going to triple Firestorm our Tsukiko. We're going to shift to B to the shift form and use her. So we're getting set up for bursting at the same time. Shifted LB. Cleon would do her shifted LB. We're doing our big burst on turn nine. Um, Olive on this turn will do double break, killer, melon, and cap. And Cecil is going to do extreme Nova frames because currently 2B shifted LB is bolting strike frames. No one else is doing extreme Nova for Cleon. So Cecil will do it. Um, so we'll go ahead and start Olive. Wait until just a moment after the second cast. Then we'll go ahead and chain everyone up. And we need to push the 25% threshold this turn. 5% over, we're good. That one's a little harder to push. And again, like I said, if you're not... Oh, and by the way, here's the uh, threshold stuff. Um, again, single target stuff. That's why we re-raised Cecil a few turns ago, because he dies on that turn. Sylvie is wearing two sources of guts. She gutses the second attack, and that's the reason we needed Cecil to omni-cover in the first few turns. So, so we're only wearing two guts on Sylvie. And there we go. That handles that. But, as I was mentioning, if you're having problems pushing that 25% threshold on that turn, you, like I said, you can save the AoE killer Magnus from Cleome, and use it on uh, turn six, and then you're, uh, you'll have some you'll have some beast killer for that turn, and it should be e it should be easier to uh, do it. It'll just make phase one a little trickier. Anyway, um, now it is turn eight, so we're going to be bursting and killing the boss next turn. So Cecil did re-raise, so back to the shift form. This turn is just magic damage, no problem. So we're going to go ahead and just cover, resist buff, and Curega because he's a little bit hurt. So is the rest of the party. Um, Olive is going to do both the breaks, both the killers, and her fire cannon fire Magnus. Sylvie is going to do demon killer on Cleome. 
Then we're going to do Offense, and we're going to do Cheerful. Sukiko is going to do um, Back to the Base Form, and we'll do uh, a Focus Ability. Uh, Cleome is going to get ready for Bursting, so she's going to double Gallant to fill her LB. And then as the last action, Scarlet Magnus, which is going to give her the 150 Fire Amplify. Now, if we kill on turn 9 as we intend to, it's going to be fine. You don't need this. But just in case your damage is not quite enough to finish off the boss... I mean, you're definitely going to. But just in case, for some weird reason, you didn't, uh, we're going to go ahead and avoid True Charge and Supreme Support. That's going to also fill the LB gauge of 2B. And there we go. So this turn is... Um, uh, some AoE magic. You know, no big deal. Okay, now it is time to kill the boss. So we're going to SLB Olive. We're going to go to the base form with 2B and do the base form LB. Cleome will go to the base form as well. because now, now her base form has been modifier buffed. And we're going to Swirling Petal Sonata. Um, let's see, Sukiko is going to shift. And we're going to do her Blazing Karmic. We're going to have Sylvie just triple cast Clever, just to jump in the chain here. And Cecil is going to go to the base form. And Quad with the Irony's Ring and then Esper, the Fire Spell, which is Bolt and Strike. And yeah, we go ahead and chain this up. And this should be your 2.5 damage cap. And we did. We needed... 2.5 to cap. How much do we deal? For the big burst? 3.9. Almost 4 billion. So, yeah. That's why I said we don't really worry about saving the big killers for phase 2. Because the damage cap is super freaking easy um, with this party. Uh, the hardest thing is hitting the 25 threshold. So, if you do need the killers um, to help push that 25% threshold by, the, by turn 7... Then you could, like I said, you could delay Cleom's Magnus until the second phase. Um, but there it is. So there's the breakdown. Um, you know, we did kind of focus the single target 250 killer buff on Cleom. She's also the only person on this party with a 150 amplify. The rest of the party was only using either a 35 or a 45 amplify. So, um, yeah, Cleom, you know, it is her clash. And she does have the only big amp for the party, so her damage is decent. Um, but I feel like doing it that way is a little bit harder than my Ice Way because pushing that 25 threshold can be kind of tricky and it really restricts your setup. But you, but you have to do it that way with Cleom because the, the, the eject really messes her up because of the auto casting, or it'll cancel them. Anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the team's gear. As usual, turn chart will be in the comments. But there's a rank 1 clear with Fire and Cleome. So Cecil is on an Esper that has the Fire Spell Learn. Um, you could also give him Scarlet Wave for support change. If you have a Leftia, just give him Scarlet Wave, and then you can put him on, on any Esper you want. Although a fire, a fire Esper like Phoenix is good anyway for the resistance. So Cecil, in both forms... Um, wants to be as close to 550 fire and dark resist as possible. Um, we're using a 200 dark resist buff and we're using a 200 fire resist buff. So all we need is 350 or better or as close as you can get to it. Um, shift form, same thing. I'm at 345 exactly, which is you know fine. Couldn't quite get all the way, but there you go. Base form, start in the base form, wearing his trust master for the, uh, the Red Wings field. And then, like I said, give him a source of quad quad magic if, you, if you're using that. Or you could give him Scarlet Wave as a materia. Either one, just give him a way to chain on the kill turn. Technically, he doesn't even have to because Sylvie's chaining too. But um, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, shift form, like I said, the resistances. Um, as much physical bulk as you can while wearing the resistances. Uh, so there we go. And I gave him a source of Extreme Nova because he needs to chain that on turn 6 and 7. Um, he also uh, is not dual wielding. And then for a Vision card, uh, a Physical Bolt card because you know the physical damage 
when he's omni covering is pretty painful because he's not really a physical tank but uh you know it worked sylvie is passive provoking you don't need evasion or anything two sources of guts because on turn um on turn four and turn seven we're not omni covering so she does take two of the single target killer hits so chocobo feather a Warber's Boon are our two sources of guts. You don't need a counter build. I just threw that on there because, you know, free counters, why not? But um, if you don't have a Warber's Boon, for example, you can stick like a second Lucid Lenses in the, in the accessories or whatever. Uh, dual wielding on a morale card, just for more morale gain. Shift form, geared identical. Beach Blaster Olive. The rest of the party doesn't need anything, um, you know, whatever. They, they don't need any bulk. So there you go. Uh, LB damage versus beast and demons. Here's the setup. There we go. I think she's capped on everything. Oh, and I gave her a Cleom's card because it uh, auto casts morale fill. And this party doesn't have a ton of morale, so there it is. Um, maxed LB, maxed beast, and maxed demon. Yep, she's maxing everything. There you go. Uh, Shrine Maiden Sukiko, start in the base form. Celestite Rod, Treasured Ring. Um, you don't need Obsidian Bracer, but doesn't hurt. Uh, other than that, you know, a little bit of physical bulk because we do we do take one or two physical hits, and then um, I gave her this card because it gives us a source of 300% focus in one cast. If you don't have this card, or you want to give her more Esper stats and the shift form, you can give her Dark Range Trust Mastery, or just not use a boost at all, um, and that would be okay too. It would obviously just be less damage. Um, Shrine Maiden sh Shift Form is just you know Esper damage. Uh, there it is, you know, the usual stuff. 2B in the base form, um, both forms actually, both forms are identical. Yeah, both forms are geared identical. Um, LB damage versus beast and demon, and there it is, and she is capped on everything with her own card. Um, damage dealer, big katana and peril, etc. Uh, Lunar Festival Cleome in both forms are geared identical. Um, her own katana, some clash gear, chain cap up, etc. Uh, and then I gave her, like, whatever stuff, because she caps all stats pretty easily. Um, you know, one of her perks is she does gear easily. Uh, so I gave her chain speed and esper stats and some LB fill because, you know, whatever. And then dark range card for the LB damage. You can give her, you can give her any card you want. Like, like she had literally four, op four open materia slots. If you don't have dark range card, give her her own card and just max her LB damage with a materia. Totally fine. And there it is. There is the fire team with Cleom. And I might do one or two more clears of this clash um, this week or this weekend coming. Uh, yeah, I'll, probably, I'll probably do at least one more. But there we go. There's an alternate clear. See you in a bit.